Hello everybody, I am back. So I actually wanted to make this video last weekend, but I really only had time for a couple of shorts, which I have had fun making those. And I am going to be making another one pretty soon because I got a new diorama piece and it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to talk about that now though, because that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, the reason you clicked here is who are the mole rats? Okay. So Emily, um, I believe it was in London several weeks ago, a couple months ago or so now mentioned that they have been working on a new army builder and that Lenny has been having fun working on the design and the code name, nickname, whatever, for this army builder are mole rats or is mole rats, whatever. Whatever the proper grammar is there, I'm not sweating it <laughs> at the moment. Um, so anyway, I've been thinking about this really since they uh, talked about it. Um, and I went ahead and I, I made a little bit of a list of what I think are the most likely scenarios here. So this is a top five list and we're going to go from five to one, uh, five being what I happen to think are the least likely scenario all the way up to what I think is the most likely scenario. And along with this list, I'm also going to give my reasoning for why I believe that these are the likely scenarios and why uh, they're ranked the way I rank them. Okay, let's get into it. Number five, Hydro Vipers. So first, I think this one is a long shot, you know, and that's why I put it at number five. I think the most likely Cobra Diver to come first will be the Eel rather than a Hydro Viper. That said, there is a reason I picked this one instead of the eel. So with Torpedo coming down the line, as we all know, we've seen the digital render. That'll likely be the next wave that drops after Falcon, Cover Girl, Crimson Bat, etc. So we have Torpedo coming down the line, and it's pretty reasonable to expect that some sort of Cobra Diver will come sooner than later. For Torpedo to have somebody to face off against on your shelf, you know, uh, and like I said, I think the eel is the most likely diver, but when think of the name mole rat, I don't really picture a cobra eel. So I believe we are going to get a, some sort of cobra diver as an army builder sooner than later. But if it, but if the mole rats are the divers, I just don't really see it as the eel. The Hydro Viper, on the other hand, he wears this weird looking mask. Um, it is reminiscent of some sort of aquatic creature, but it also has kind of an ugly ratty look to it. You see, uh, I don't know where they pull these code names from, and I don't know what the classified version of a Hydro Viper might look like. But I can imagine them working on a design and saying something like, wow, this diving mask looks like a rat face, a naked mole rat. We'll see. Okay, next up, we have number four, Techno Vipers. Now, I put this one at number four because I think the Techno Viper is certainly coming out at some point. Uh, Cobra needs these guys to kind of keep that war machine going. You know, they're the tech guys, they're the engineers, what have you. Now, I'm not sure where they would come up with the name Molrat for the Techno Viper, but in terms of troop builders, that might be on the horizon. The Techno Viper should be high on the list. I feel like they should be coming up pretty soon, within the next year or so. My guess. I don't know if we're really going to see them in 2023, but I would imagine we will see Techno Vipers pretty soon. Now, maybe because they spend their time rooting around in the guts of his tanks and the bowels of the terror drone, keeping everything functioning, they're burrowing around in these uh, <laughs> tight corridors, uh, fixing things. 
you know, maybe that's where the mole rat thing comes from. I don't know. But of all the troop builders on the list, the Techno Viper is the one I'm most hopeful for. So that said, I have three more picks that I think are the more likely options. And with that said, I hope it's the Techno Viper. Number three, Dreadnought Recruits or Dreadheads. I put this in the middle of the pack, even though it might seem like kind of a long shot. The Dreadheads were originally released in, I think, 2004 as part of a Dreadnought Rampage uh, box set. Um, now, these Dreadnoughts or Dreadheads or whatever, they're all like guys with individual names and characteristics. So they do kind of walk the line between troop builder and like named character. Um, but I think that could make for a fun design process. They could come in a three pack similar to the Vipers in which they could have swappable accessories to make six different dreadheads. You can make all six of them for, out of two uh, three packs. And I think that putting that all together could make for like a fun and interesting project for a design team. So I think that is possible. Now, I think these rough looking baddies could, I could imagine a scenario where they earn the nickname Mole Rats by the design team as they're working on them because, you know, they're like these rough and gruff, kind of ugly looking, uh, tough guys or whatever. Uh, so maybe somewhere along the line, and you never know how people come up with, you know, inside jokes or nicknames or things. I could see maybe how that could happen. You know, maybe they made them look really kind of ratty and like just kind of like dirty looking or whatever, real scummy looking guys. And they're like, ah, oh, it's mole rat. <laughs> Who knows? Um, also, my last little piece of reasoning here for the Dreadheads. So we already have Zartan and Zorana. We know Ripper and Buzzer are coming down the pike. Um, it stands to reason that Torch will be short to follow, if not released like right around that same time as Ripper and Buzzer. So we are building up that Dreadnought team. Dreadnoughts are a favorite among G.I. Joe fans. And why not fill their ranks out with some recruits, you know? So yeah, there's something like uh, I think 10, 12 something dreadnoughts. Why not throw in a troop builder to kind of really fill up that dreadnought shelf? I think that would be very cool. Maybe it's more like 13. Eh, whatever. Somebody will let me know in the comments or I'll look it up myself after this. Also, you might notice at this point the camera has uh, the uh, frame might have changed a little bit. The, the, uh, Stan fell <laughs> a second ago. Okay, moving right along. Number two, green shirt. So now we're getting into what I think are the most likely scenarios. I'm convinced that we will see green shirts coming down the pike at some point. They're an obvious choice for Joe vehicles that folks might want to army build. For example, uh, if a green shirt came with a Skyhawk, if they came out with a Skyhawk, I could see people buying like three Skyhawks, four or five Skyhawks. If Skyhawk came with a named character, I'll feel like a lot of people might just say, well, I'll get one because I don't want to have five or six, whoever, Wild Bills. Okay, so I could see a green shirt coming out like that, but why not get the ball rolling with a good troop builder pack or something like that? And similar to the Vipers, I'm looking down here, it's similar to our Vipers, similar to what I said about the um, Dreadheads, green shirts could make for a good three pack where you could build them out, swap their heads, swap their accessories, whatever, and make it look like you have a half a dozen, a dozen totally different guys all as your um, basic troops for the G.I. Joe team. Now, for a couple of troops on this list, I noted their probable ugliness as a reason for them earning the nickname Mole Rat. Now, that wouldn't be the case here. The green shirts, they're just regular people. 
in military gear, no weird looking masks or anything like that. Uh, that said, these are the boots on the ground, you know, frontline soldiers. These are the guys in the trenches fighting Cobra, the enemy. With that, I can see how they might have earned the name Mole Rat. A Mole Rat spends most of its time scurrying around in their own trenches of sorts. I can see that loose connection there. Now, whether or not these are the troop builders called Mole Rats, I would bet my bottom dollar we'll see some green shirts at some point. I would not be surprised if we see at least one attached to the next HasLab. And once we get one, you can be sure there will be more to come. Okay, here we go. Getting to the last, last piece of the list, number one. Number one, Sand Scorpions. I believe that these are the most likely troop builders that have earned this nickname Mole Rats. Now, like everything I say out here, I could be totally wrong. I could be off by a thousand miles. I'm just looking at what's available to everybody and doing my own little logic. <laughs> so who knows? But by my reasoning, these are the most likely characters. Now, here's why. Um, like a mole rat, they spend a good bit of time underground. They hide in the sand waiting to ambush their prey. Okay. Now, I don't necessarily know that a mole rat ambushes prey, <laughs> but the sand scorpion does, and they both spend their time underground. We have a desert trooper with Dusty. All right, well, I have terrible luck with this uh, camera stand that I'm using. It just fell over again. I think that if I'm going to keep making videos and <laughs> trying to improve here and make a cool <laughs> channel, I think might... I think I might have to invest in some more gear, okay? Because this isn't working. Um, anyway, where was I? So I don't remember where I left off, so I'm just going to start from here. Now, I'm sure we will get some more desert-themed bad guys before we get any more desert-themed G.I. Joes. And that, I think, will be the Sand Scorpion. Finally... They're listed on the Meet the Characters page on the GIJo.com website. So if you visit the page, you'll notice that most of the listed characters have been made or are in the pipeline. I believe each of these characters will be produced at some point. The Sand Scorpion, like all the other characters listed on the Meet the Characters page, already has ability icons associated. So... I kind of feel like they've already put in a little bit of thought on these particular characters and I would be quite surprised if they were never produced. Um, so we have, we have an enemy for him or rather the Saiyan Scorpion would be a good enemy for Dusty. They crawl around underground and they're listed on that uh, G.I. Joe.com page under meet the characters where they have abilities and such already associated with them so i think that the sand scorpion is the mole rat now you can leave your comments below and let me know what you think um i will read the comments as soon as i get a chance so <laughs> sometimes i'm a lot better at uh leaving comments back um really soon sometimes it takes a little while uh but i do like to read your comments and i have some uh comments i think that i want to respond to <laughs> soon <laughs> from the previous video which i understand was like quite a, a couple weeks ago at this point so i'd like to put more out more regularly but tough out here <laughs> okay so i would be surprised if this sand scorpion doesn't get a classified release and I do believe this is the most likely trooper to earn the nickname Mole Rat, as I just kind of went over. Okay, so with all that, that's what I think. That's who I think the Mole Rats are, plus four options who I think are the uh, other most likely. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you thought this was um, worth watching, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. That would help out. Uh, you know, 
know, that helps me want to keep doing this. And, um, you know, let's keep collecting and let's keep, you know, having fun with our cool G.I. Joe and Cobra figures. And also, um, more shorts coming because I got a new diorama, like I mentioned in the beginning. I want to take some pictures of that. So check out 1134comics.com and the Instagram page, 1134comics. Okay, I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.